Good evening and welcome to the Betfred Championship Round 22 clash between Halifax Panthers and Batley Bulldogs here at the Shea Stadium. Um, I'll go through the teams in just a second. It's a fourth v third clash live on Premier Sports tonight. Um, just two points separate them in the, in the table. If Batley win, they'd take, go four points clear in third. But if Halifax win, they'll jump into third on points difference. So a really, really important game tonight. Halifax looking to avenge um, the defeat in the first round of the championship way back in January with 30-18 defeat at Mount Pleasant. The teams for tonight, first of all, we'll go through the Batley Bulldogs side. They line up as follows. Lou Cooley at number one. Number two, Perry Whiteley. Number four, Josh Hodson. Number three, Kieran Buchanan. Number five, Johnny Campbell. Two ex-Fax halfbacks in Ben White and Tom Gilmore. Eight, Adam Gledhill. And we've got three ex Halifax players in Ben Kay, Martin Riley, and Dane Manning. Lucas Walshaw and Niall Flynn complete the Bulldogs lineup. And on the bench, they've got 14 James Meadows, number 9 Alistair Leake, number 16 Michael Ward, and number 13 James Brown. Hopefully, you won't be feeling good after tonight's game. On with the Halifax Panthers. Uh, they line up as number one, James Wood Burnall making his 100th Halifax appearance. Number two, Lacken Wormsley. Number three, Greg Worthington needing one more try to take him up to 100 career tries. Number four, Joe Rundle. Number five, James Saltonstall. Number 24, Louis Dufray. Number seven, Joe Keyes. Number 16, Will Calcott. Number nine, and Captain Brandon Moore. Number 10, Super Dan Murray. Number 11, Ben Kavanagh. Number 17, Ed Barber. And number eight, Adam Tangata. And on the bench for the Panthers, number 14, Kyle Wood. Number 15, Elliot Morris. Number 13, Jacob Fairbank. And number 31, Kevin Leroy coming back from his ban. Stadiums filling up nicely, the drums going off. And hopefully it is a great game tonight. The cheerleaders doing their thing and the young Booth Town Terriers guys waving the flag in anticipation of what's set to be a really, really good match tonight. One person who isn't on the Panthers lineup tonight, sadly missing out next to me, is Matty G. Matty G, thank you very much for joining me tonight. Not any time, mate. And uh, how, how are you feeling? I bet you'd love to be out there in the middle. Oh, yeah, good I'm not out there, but. Hopefully now, a few more weeks I get to get out there again with the boys, can't wait. Lovely stuff. Hopefully you won't be missed too much as the Panthers will get the win that they need here. As the team's out of the field. And just like the Summer Bash, eight days ago, it's a great atmosphere here. The band and the army singing loud behind the sticks. And it's a really good number turn out here in the East Stand. As I said before, fourth e third in the table after Batley won at, at home against Sheffield on Wednesday night in a really hard fought game over at the Mount. But as I say, a Batley win takes them four points clear of the Panthers. But if Halifax manages to win, we go third on points difference. So, vitally important game tonight. As a fireworks. Go off with a bang and hopefully this game will go off with a bang. Just before we kick off, Matty G, pre-match prediction, what do you reckon? I reckon Halifax 24, um, Batley 10. Right answer. <laughs> that was a good test for you. <laughs> ah, it's a great noise from the south stand there. Getting there. As Joe Keyes prepares to kick off. Waiting for the fireworks to finish. And Scott Michalowskis is a referee today. And I cannot wait for this to start. As I say, the players all observe the 13 seconds. Again, so all discrimination, whatever that might be. So here we go, Joe Keys to kick off from left to right towards the south stand. He kicks off, he goes left, and he goes to towards Ben White. Ben White takes and it'll go to Adam Gledhill. Met strong by yeah, Calcott and Murray. Tangata in there as well. Play the ball, White, onto Luke Hooley there. 
it takes four taking down Ben K waiting behind dummy half Texas with himself in the centre field brought down by three including Calcott, Tangata and Murray just on the 25 Gilmore out to Flynn Flynn just gets towards the 40 metres this time K goes short goes for Hooli, Hooli steps in but was well tackled there by Rundle held out there by Dan Murray last tackle, Gilmore puts boots to ball from halfway goes long the back left to go, go bouncer, he goes to Lackham Walmsley he'll take it up, oh, oh that looks to be a high tackle there and Mick Louse is giving it and it's a good result there for the Panthers going forward there first, first defensive set there Matty, what do you reckon? Yeah, I thought, I thought we started off really good though. Trying to keep the uh, 3 in the 30 there and you can tell that the intent's there straight from the off so hopefully we just keep that going now and get in the grind. Hopefully we him down. As Joe Keys kicks a penalty to touch, makes some good yards there. Just past the 40 metres. As the Panthers start off with Greg Worthington tapping inside to Brandon Moore. Brandon Moore inside to Tangata. And Tangata finds himself just past the 40 metre line centre field met by three Bulldogs defenders Moore to Murray Murray finds Jufre Jufre short to Barber but he's met well by Dan Manning and Tom Gilmore a lot of ex-fax lads in this uh, battle side a bit of messing around there but nothing given here's Cal Cop. Yeah, great carry there by Cal met by four still going making the Bulldogs oh. defenders work hard and that looks to be a a tip tackle, past the horizontal, but nothing given from Scott Miskalskis. As Keyes that's takes to the line and he knocked out by Ben K. Sure, that's about to one there. Yeah. And he's giving it there. So, uh, Fax will start with a scrum on the 40 metre line. Battle's defence looks to be pretty uh, pretty aggressive tonight, don't they, Matty? Yeah, look up for it tonight. I think, but I think both teams know what, um, what's on the line here and it's that third play spot so um, I think both teams going to be up for it and I think it's going to be an aggressive match Hopefully Fax will be able to fight fire with fire That's the one, that's the one As Moore goes for Jufri, Jufri oh, oh, oh it's an interception And it's Josh Hudson away And Josh Hudson is going for the corner and Woodburn all oh, on his under appearance oh, Gets back to make the tackle, out out by Barber But it's an awful, awful set there from from the Panthers as Buchanan goes centre field met by Murray puts him down 10 metres out can the Panthers all the Bundogs out here and he goes to Martin Riley Riley steps past steps past one goes past two and he's held back there well by Jufre by the boys Ben Kate dummy half finds Gilmore Gilmore floats out to get Gladil Gladil met by three that was great scramble out there by the boys hmm as K goes out the back to Gilmar, go back to White, White Shaw to Walshaw, yeah. and that's a knock on there, surely. Great, and it's great defensive response there from the Panthers. How good does it feel when you hold out a side, especially after they've made a break there? Oh, it, the, the set of relief that comes over here is just massive, um, especially after something like that. And the scramble by Woody was first class there, but just just to get the ball back there and the work rate of all lads to get back, it just uh, just shows how close we the group here. Something that we've definitely noticed this year is a character and the team spirit of the side. And it's good to hear from, from one of the players that that is the case as Wood, Woodburn all takes it from the scrum. <laughs> Tackle just past the 20 metre line. Sorry, that was Greg Worthington, my mistake. As a rundle, takes it in. Finds the 30 metre line. More weights acting half. Left the Jews play on the floor and takes advantage and makes a good 10 yards there. Brandon Moore from acting half. Shufre. Options left and right. Goes left to Calcott. Dummy Sangata but takes it in. Another good strong carry there from Calcott. Going past the halfway line. As Moore goes blind to Keys. Keys scheming. Brought to the side to Kavanagh. Met by Walshaw. Still makes yards. Last tackle here. That's just in the 40 metre line. It's Keys but boost the ball. Goes high. It's a good chase here for Walmsley. And Lahuli drops it, Lahuli drops it there, and Murray kicks it on, but it's definitely going to be Halifax ball. And it's a great result to that set there. And Halifax will get the scrum 10 metres out. 
Yeah, that's great work there by the boys, just to build the pressure. Uh, get lucky in the with anyone and you, you're backing him nine times out of ten there, so that's great work there by the boys. Such an aerial threat is Warnsley, isn't he? Yeah, he's massive. Luke Hooley, subject to transfer speculation that Lee's Rhinos are after him, but that certainly wasn't a super league to send a catch. But he goes left to Woodburn Hall, Woodburn Hall steps, goes past Walsh, Walsh oh, still going Woodburn Hall. How good would it be for him to get a try in his 100th facts appearance? Five out from the line. Greg Worthington waits. Dummy half. Finds Brandon Moore. Brandon Moore to Tangata. Tangata. Dummy to go through. Oh, it's a great cover tackle there from Gledhill. And Tangata plays the ball to Moore. Finds Calcott. Calcott. Can he get his first try of the season? No, he's held up by, looks like, five defenders there. As Ben Kay trying to fire up the battle crowd. Very much like he used to do when he was wearing the blue and white. But the Halifax fans respond in kind. And it's more outright to Murray. Murray finds Tangata short. It's another great tackle there from Gledhill. Takes three to take Tangata down. More looking left and right. Goes blind. Short to Barber. Barber met by three. And four and five. Can't put Barber down, but it's held. Five out from the line. Jufre goes short. Oh, oh it's oh. so Jeff so has so scored the first try. And it's the Panthers on the board. And what a play that was. Louis Jufre thought we were going to skew his health, but just threw a great crowd ball out of James Solenstow. And the Halifax lads got his sixth try of the season. And what a start, mate. Oh, yeah. Great start here. He shows that he was building pressure there. Building pressure. It was a great crowd pass there by Louis. Just the uh, vision to pick that, pick that one out there just to show us what type of player he is. He's such a threat. A dummy half when Brandon Moore and Kyle Willett in there. And that's a perfect response from the Panthers. As you said before, a really good scramble from Woodburn off in the break, and then we've we responded really well. And uh, we're 4 0 up, and hopefully, Joe Keys will turn four into six. As uh, the band behind the South Stand Raw, the boys on, and they say, brilliant cut out ball from Dummy Half from Louis Jufre, and Salt and Stall walks in. Now, Joe Keats, can he add to his 213 points this season? Strikes it. Looks good. The crowd will tell you. Keys gets the conversion. And here in this round 22 clash, it's a high fast Panthers 6. Battle of Bulldogs nil. And a great start, mate. Great start, this from the boys. You can just see. Uh, we're up for it and everything's going right so far so hopefully we'll just keep building the pressure and hopefully keep backing the points up. Really important that they they a good set in now from a kick here. Luke Cooley does really good kickoffs. Uh, it's an awkward bounce for Jufre, oh, but Salt and Stall does well. And he makes 10 yards, met by four. And the Panthers start from deep. Jufre out of the back to Arundel. Arundel met by two. Struggled to put him down. Just about 12 yards out. It's on to Murray. Finds Tangata short into centre field. And he's put down by three Bulldogs defenders. Moore looks left. It's a late run there by Jufre, but he goes out front to Kevin and Kevin breaks through. And it's on to Walsley. Walsley goes clear field here. He dummies the fullback. He's got a brilliant tackle there. That was a great by Broken field here. The Panthers have got loads of men there on the right that can make it out. Keys out to Murray. Murray. Oh, right, right. loads of men. But well defended there from the Bulldogs. Panthers go right when there looks to be motions left as Barber goes out wide to Sawyer. And Sawyer stalls in. And Alifas go back to back. And there's two tries to James Sawyer stall. That's a great pass there by um, Ed Barber there. End to end stuff here at the Shea as Halifax go 10 0 up and it's two tries to Jay Sortenstall and the crowd behind the south stand go wild. Someone's down there for um... They say it looked, they looked to have taken the wrong option because from where we were there were loads of options here on the left but loads of options there on the right but. It's like Ben Kay's down for not though. Yeah, it doesn't look good for Ben Kay there. 
but yeah there, there seems to be lots of options here on the left but they uh, they had faith on that right hand side and Jane Sortenstall back to back two tries there for his seventh try of the season and Halifax had 10 0 up and again maintain that great start I said he's going to be brilliant about that that try with a good set can't make a better set than a try there no I, th I think that that set there was just, just shows if you run with intent you get you get your rewards from it and I think Cavs uh, carry there straight over and getting that offload off the shows they've got a good relationship on that left hand side on the keys and Kavanagh yeah, yeah they've got a good combination going on this year and I think they've caused a lot of teams problems mm -hmm. Let's say Walmsley looks just as dangerous every time he gets the ball. He did well not to panic. He could have thrown a speculative ball, but he, he took the tackle well from uh, yeah, he from Prey Whiteley. Just, just to take the tackle and go get on the next one. As Keys lines up once again, Hull hopefully turn four and at six. As a bit of a breeze blows through the shea hopefully he'll blow the ball over the posts and yet again will the crowd tell us that Joe Keyes has landed this conversion looks to strike it well yeah, and he's got it that. what a start for the Panthers So score after that try, Halifax 12, Batley nil, And an absolutely fantastic start to the game from Halifax's perspective. Can the Bulldogs fight back as I say, this is their third game in eight days after that. Game on Wednesday night against Sheffield. And the Panthers being ruthless here as Murray missed, missed really good yards there, having Batley defenders hanging off his back. As Dufresne goes blind to the Rundle. Rundle gets two to take him down. As Jufre finds Saltonstall coming in the field for work. And Ben K has actually gone off injured. It's Alistair Leak that's come on for him. As Moore finds Tangata. Tangata out the back to Keys. Keys finds Woodburn All. Woodburn All steps back inside. Tackle by Gilmore. And Walshaw puts him down as well. Tackle by Elite there, sorry. Just over 40 metres out from the line. Keys, centre field. Dummies finds. Just oh. on the short crash ball. Nearly gets the ball away again, but it's a really good quick play of the ball. Probably too quick there as Jufre on the last puts it high. Campbell's underneath it and it's taken well. And it's a, a good 90 metre set there from the Panthers, eh, mate? Yeah, some great, some great line running there by Murray. Uh, just causes the defence a lot of problems there. As the, the East Stand get the appreciation for Ben Kay. It doesn't look too good, hopefully it's not a bad injury. Was a really good servant for Fax when he was here. But as it is, it's the Bulldogs who go past the 40. With Josh Hodgson. Three to take him down. Lee goes in field to Riley. Riley met by Moore and Barber. Putting down just by, past halfway. Last tackle. As Gilmore puts it high towards the corner Wonderful. and Saltonstall oh. lets it bounce but it goes dead for a seven tackle set and a good result that isn't it mate? Yeah it's a good result for us that looks a bit uh, like they're getting a bit of a quick rock there badly so I think we've got off there as Walmsley goes to Dufray, Dufray inside to Arundel takes two to take him down as the Panthers start from that 20 metre tap Walmsley comes in from the left some work taking the pressure off the forwards there's a good quick play of the ball as Moore finds Calcott on the crash ball oh, great carry Caller. it's done well so far as Calcott with his carries goes left to Keys. Keys out of the back to Woodburn all Woodburn all to Worthington looking for his 100th career try but stopped by three Batley defenders trying to drag him towards touchline but he goes down right on the 40 metre line Wormsley finds Keys. Keys dummies to Tangata and Calcott goes oh. wide to Moore and it's a bad mistake that from the captain and Batley will get a scrum just past the 40 metre line and a bit of a disappointing end to that set there Matty yeah I think after all the hard work the lads have just gone through just to come up with a bit of a soft error there um, I think we just let them off there a bit Batley and you know hopefully now just a big D set now just one minute work and just try and get the ball back now 
as Leek goes right to Campbell. Met by Keys, helped out by Kavanagh and Murray. Brings them down halfway, 15 metres in from touch. Battle wanting a penalty, but McLaughlin's have not, none of it. As Walshaw takes it up. Met by Moore, Murray and Calcott. Getting through a lot of work in attacking defences, Calcott and Murray. Gilmore inside to Gledhill. Met by Calcott yet again. Held out there. He's been doing it every week, Callie. Just loads of work rate right every week, isn't he? And just loads of tackling. Here's Riley. Riley. Met by Moore and Barber. 25 metres out from the Panthers line. As Leek goes to the Gilmore. Gilmore puts it short to Gledhill. Met well by Tangata and Murray. Brought down. 15 metres from the Halifax line. Slows the player ball down. As it goes to White, out the back to Hooley. Hooley goes through, but he's well tackled there by Woodburn Hall and Murray. Nearly through there, Hooley. Yeah, he looks close there, doesn't he? As Leek finds White. White drops it off to Riley. But again, well met there by Calcott Moore. Tackle Held up by Barber. Then there must have been a set restart somewhere in there. Yeah, Leek goes from dummy half, yeah, no, fifth now. now. It does seem to be a lot of tackles there, I must say. <laughs> Riley finds White, out to Gilmore. Gilmore puts boots to ball, dribbles it through, yeah, and it's gone dead for a seven tackle set. And James Woodburn all wants to get this started quickly. Oh, no. Tatson finds Warnsley, Warnsley, centre field, makes some good yards there. Texas past the 30. Yeah, it's great work there by Woodies to turn around and get the ball back in play as quick as possible. Get some nice easy yards there. Here's the other wing of Salt and Stall, helping out his forwards. Moore finds Worthington, the three quarter line joining in here. And he's really good yards here, still going Worthington. Past the halfway line, goes blind to Keys. Keys finds Kavanagh, Kavanagh, yeah. run through. And is it a loose carry? It looks one like one, it. And it's a one on one loose carry, whatever you want to, however you want to put it. The upshot is that Batley have the ball, 40 metres from their own line. And it's Perry Whiteley will take it past halfway. Met by Murray and Tangata. As K finds Dial Flynn. He'll take it past the 40 metre line. Tackle there by Moore and Barber. Here's Gilmore. Gilmore goes out the back to White. Goes short to Walshaw, but well met by Keyes. Yeah. Held tight by Wilms at the top, but he's still going Walshaw. And yet again, it's Will Calcott who puts him down. Leek goes from dummy half. Spots some markers on the floor, but well defended there by Moore and Murray. And then helped out there by Worthington. Centre field here, 10 metres out, Batley. White onto Gledhill. Gledhill finds Gilmore. Gilmore out back to Hooley. Hooley goes wide to Buchanan. It's a loose pass. Oh, must be a Panthers hand in there. And it's a repeat set for the Bulldogs here. Big defensive set here from the Panthers. Yeah, it'd be a massive set this year, keep him out. As Gledhill, met by three. Five metres out, just to the left hand side of the post. As Lee goes left to Gilmore, Gilmore with Tahuli, Huli, out to Buchanan. Buchanan, it's tackled oh, well by Rundle. I think he's scored he's that. Oh, he's he loves to score that and Batley hit back. As Johnny Buchanan, Johnny Campbell, sorry. And scored and Batley hit back. Halifax 12, Batley 4. And say it didn't look like he got over, but they're a lot closer than us. It was a good ball from Hooley. Yeah, he's just gone low for the corner, hasn't he? Yeah. I think he's just snuck it in just in time, though. Experienced Johnny Campbell knows how to get the ball down. And Joe Rundle tried his best, but he managed to finish off in the corner. And it was that re re repeat set with a hand in from the Panthers that gave the platform for it but they say it was always going to be a close game this and the, the Bulldogs fight back what do you think is going to be said behind those posts there with, in that pack? I think it's just going to be trust the process it's, it's been it's been working so far this game I know, I know we had a back to back set there and it was obviously a nice little finish there by Campbell in the corner but I think the boys have been on top so far and I think it's just a matter of sticking with it sticking what we're doing get back in the grind now and Obviously, just trying to get back on top of this Batley Bulldog side. Yeah, certainly against a run of play, really, as Gilmore strikes and he lands it from the touchline. Really good kick there from Gilmore, the ex Halifax half back. 
as the Batley fans find their voice as they hit back and it's Halifax Panthers 12th Batley Bulldogs 6 and hopefully Halifax will keep them in their own territory here bit of a lull here at the Shears the Batley fight back but hopefully Halifax will strike back or keep them to six as Keys kicks off it's been a big set here for the boys White hands off to Gledel met well by Murray Calcott and Tangata 10 metres out as Leek that's a good good run there but it's met well by Calcott and Moore as Leek goes out to Riley Riley will make the 30 Murray and Rundle put him down and they go blind again. They fancy something on that left hand side. The battle is X Fact Zero. Dane Manning gets tackled just before halfway. Oh, great, great shot there by Bud. Helped out by Barber there. Good shot there on Flynn. As last tackle called. As Gilmore puts it high once more towards that corner. But it's well taken there by Woodburn All. Yeah, a little, bit, little bit of pressure on him there, but he did well. It's a, a good 90 metre set there from um, from the Panther, uh, from the Bulldogs, sorry. As Jacob Fairbank comes onto the field for Will Calcott, really good set um, stint there from Calcott. Works really hard, and hopefully Bob Fairbank will uh, inject some energy in there. Yeah, you know what you get with Bob is going to bring a lot of aggression, a lot of work. Here yeah, Sangatta does well, makes the 40 metre line, takes three Bulldogs defenders taking down. Brandon Moore waits. Here is Fairbank. Takes it in in the middle. Makes some good yards there after contact. Just past halfway, last tackle. Moore hands off to Keys. Keys pulls it high towards his corner. And Perry Wiley takes. Not much pressure on him. But it's a, a pretty decent chase there from the Panthers. Oh. And it's a ball steal there yeah, from Tangata. It's a soft penalty to give away that, especially. When we're in the arm wrestle earth, it would just let them off there, got, let them get out their half too easy. Yeah, didn't didn't need to do that really, did he? No, he could have stopped with it there for a few tackles. There's Hooley. Kicks the penalty out and touch just past halfway. As Hodson adds it inside to Walshaw, who'll meet Tangata. Looking to make amends for his error, but Walshaw still going. Slips out of the tackle from Moore. 35 out from the Panthers line. Leek waits, finds Riley, steps up, finds Murray. Put down by Murray, helped out by Fairbank and Barber. Batley, 25 metres out. There's Flynn again. Flynn still going. Put down by Murray, helped out by Barber and Moore. Gilmore, dummies through, dummies still going, Tom Gilmore. Hey, he's lost also lost the ball there, oh. but it's another ball steal. And Batley have a penalty in front of the post. Do they go for the two or do they go for do they go for the try here? I reckon they'll uh, roll on here now and just try and build pressure. I must admit, if I if there's an Halifax um, uh, possession here, I'd be going for the tap, and that's exactly what they do. As Riley takes the ball up, less than five out. Big test of the Panthers' defence here as Gilmore goes out the back to White, finds Hooley at the back, he dummies and goes through. Oh, it's a great, great cover tackle. tackle. That's a fantastic cover tackle. That was by, a great tackle by Cav. Yeah, fantastic tackle there. White hands it off to Gledel. Gledel finds three Panthers defenders waiting for him. Tangata, Fairbank, and Murray. Leek waits, finds White. White to Gilmore. Gilmore gets money on the crash ball. Is well met there by Jufre and Fairbank and Barber. Pushes them back slightly. Leek finds Riley on the short ball. Will the Panthers carry him over the line? Carry him over there. It's called L just before the line there is Leek. No. Goes from dummy half. Great tackle ah. on that by the boys. Great tackle. And it's a great defensive set there from the Panthers. And the touch judge is on, I'm not too sure why. Seems like Batley just had a bit of momentum there for the last five minutes. And it happens in games like and I think we just have to get past this now and then get back to the process and get back to what we do best. Definitely, it's 43rd game, he's definitely going to be close. 
two sides who really, really want to make their stamp on the playoffs. There's a bit of break here for, for an injury for Valley to leak. Woodburn all plays the ball. And the Bulldogs defence, really, really aggressive there. Pushing the fax man back there, not too sure who that is. It's Joe Rundle. Yeah, oh and it's, yeah. The Bulldogs defence is too aggressive there. And Scott McLeod gets awards a penalty, and it's a very relieving penalty that. Yeah, I think they just looked a bit too eager there, didn't they, to go off the line and try and put a shot on him. Um, yeah, I think they just went a little bit too early though. It's a great result for the Panthers because starting from really deep inside our own territory and again a bit of a break in play as the Batley man receives attention. I think, is it Leak? Uh, I'm not too sure. James Brown looks like he's coming on here on the sideline. Craig Lindgaard starting to use his bench and it's a 213 that have come, come on so far with Fairbank on there. Well, there's a bit of lull in play. How, how many games have you got left of your, of your band before you come? I've got two right. more after this. And, oh. uh, yeah, it's killing me now, not playing, but uh, yeah, I just can't wait to get back out. Bit of a frustrated uh, watcher, are you then? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, to, yeah, to be honest. But uh, yeah, especially having so long off from the injury and then getting back into the swing of things and then having a, yeah, this type of band come on me, it's just... Yeah, I just wanna just wanna get back out there now. Yeah, it seemed that you were really getting into it, back in your groove really when when you were getting banned. Yeah, I just, I just started to probably get my match fitness back then. And, yeah, and then for, for five game ban to it, mate. Yeah, yeah. I didn't expect that one to be honest. Well, like I said before, hopefully the Panthers won't miss you too much, but it'd be great <laughs> to have you back. As Fairbank finds his mate oh. Tangata in centre field, great little ball that. Takes two Bulldogs players to take him down. As Moore finds Keys, Keys dummies. Oh, met well by Gledable, bounces it. off the Irish International as he finds, nearly finds a 40 metre line as Brandon Moore waits out to Tangatu, finds Murray on the short crash ball but well tackled there by the battle defenders Flynn and Manning as Moore goes blind finds Jufre, Jufre finds Barber, steps tries to go through, oh. gets an offload out and Woodburn all finds Fairbank oh, on the short ball, ball. And he manages to get away from them. 15 metres out centre field. As the drum goes off in the south stand. Moore goes right. Dismay from the Fax players on the left. But Barber looks to threaten last tackle. And Moore goes blind again. Jufre steps inside. Jufre still going. Still going, Jufre. Still going. Gets the ball out. Gets to Brandon Moore. Finds Keys. Keys gets across to Walsley. Walsley, oh, it's tapped out by Batley, Wellington, oh, Wellington oh, finds oh, Woodburn, oh, goes with Walsley, oh, and it's not through Walsley, oh, it's a forward pass, Scott McLeod gives a forward pass. I think he said we played advantage here as well. Now, that certainly didn't look forward, but Champagne Rugby League here from Halifax, keeping the ball alive fantastically, Keys. Yeah, it's come off them that there, hasn't it? Lots of come off the Batley man. And Woodburn all, hmm, I'm not too sure about that. But he's, well, he's given us the ball anyway, so I'll hopefully let's th build a bit more pressure now. And hopefully we can capitalise on it. Mm. Is it a case of building pressure and trying not to score off every play? Because what you must be having in that situation when oh, you've got yeah. the line begging. Oh, especially when you think the opportunity's there. Like I know Woody Fortum's on there, and any other day it's probably a try that. So uh, yeah, we we'll just have to take our medicine sometimes. As oh, really? Whoa. Really? Uh, oh, it's a yes, a Woodburn all, and so and so, James Sortenstall gets his hat trick. What a performance from James Sortenstall. Uh, they're not scoring for a few games. Sortenstall gets his hat trick in the first half, and Halifax strike back in the best possible way. And as I just said, don't want to try, try score of every play. We scored off the first play, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a great play off the scrum, that though. I think Wood Bernard could have probably scored himself there, he'd not even got inside, but he hands off to Salt and Star to get his hat trick. And uh, what a performance so far from the lad. As the Halifax fans find their voice again in that south stand. Some great rugby from Halifax so far, some really nice tries. All to Salt and Star so far. And it's 16 6 for the kick to come. As Dan Murray comes off the field. Yeah, another great stint there by Erdis. 
does some really good stints of our longer minutes than he was last year and he's having a fantastic season as Kevin Leroy comes on returning from a ban with envy as eyes next to me wanted to get back on the field <laughs> Leroy only gets yeah. a, a shorter ban <laughs> As Keyes lines up, you would say that he wanted easier kicks than all the ones in the corner, but he's landed them all so far. Can he land it again? Strikes towards the post. Don't look to have the length, and he's drifted wide. So it remains here at the Shea Stadium. Halifax Panthers 16, Batley Bulldogs 6. And a really good response there, Matty. Yeah, it was a great response there by the boys, just to turn it round it was after all, it was always going to happen where Batley had a bit, of, bit of success in the game and I think we stuck with it there and we battled through that five minute period and um, yeah the boys look good again now so hopefully we can start capitalising and get some more points on the board Will it start from Tangata? Just past the 12 metre line got finds Kavanagh still going Kavanagh Keys at dummy half finds Leroy a first touch of the ball, but he's met by a really strong battle defence. Centre field, 20 metres out, 25 metres out, sorry, as Fairbank takes it in. Strong battle defence here, responding after conceding. Keys goes left, finds Worthington, Worthington, yeah, really good run there. Jufre, last tackle, finds Keys. Keys puts it high again for Hooley. Bit too deep, but it's a good chase there from the Panthers. And a pretty good response there from the, from some tough Batley defence as Batley start their attack. Less than 20 metres out, but that's a good run there. Makes a 30 metre line, but it's put down by Arundel and Tangata. Here's Campbell. Campbell met by Fairbank. Helped out by Barber and Tangata. Struggling to put him down, eventually do. As Leek goes left. Inside to Huli, Huli. Well marked there by Fairbank and Leroy. Here's Mikey Ward. Hands off to James Brown. James Brown going across field. Bounces off keys. Were well wrapped up there by Worthington. Oh. Worthington up high. Don't let that done. James Brown. Held out by Wolves and putting him down just past the 40 metre line. As Hodson on to White. Kicks on the fourth. Centre field. But Woodburn all takes well. No pressure on him and he's oh, a bit of broken field. Woody, bit of broken field there for Woodburn all. As the Panthers start the set just shy of the 20 metre line. As Wolves lands it onto Salt and Stall. Oh. Looks to be a bit hospital pass, but does well, does Salty. Oh, nice hands it off to Joe Rundle. Does well. Makes, nearly makes a 30 metre line less than 10 to go here in the first half Salt and Stall finds Walnsley Walnsley goes across field dummies threatens to make the break but wrapped up there by Hodgson as Worthington waits at dummy half finds Tangata Tangata put down by two battle defenders just shy of halfway here Moore goes blind to Keys. Keys. definite grubber there finds Hooley Hooley didn't want to return that Hands off to Perry Whiteley, who goes across field. It's a great tackle there by Fairbank. Brilliant tackle there. Helped out by Leroy and put down. And that didn't look to be a right play of the ball. It isn't. Great result there for the Panthers. Fantastic defence there by Fairbank. Yeah, I think that all came off Bob's tackle there, didn't it? And just the enthusiasm to get up and give someone a whack. And Alex that's all I'll start with a scrum, less than 20 out. And hopefully we'll see another set move from the scrum and a try but it's a it's great field position and it's not a scrum sorry they decided not they decided not to have a scrum and it's a play the ball instead as Fairbank will play the ball Kyle Wood on on the field not, I think he's coming for Tangata there as Kyle Wood Brandon Moore moved back to loose forward and Kyle Wood will patrol that dummy half as Keys finds Cavani coming on the angle takes three Bulldogs defenders to take him down and it's a really quick play of the ball Kyle Wood Fires out to Keys, Keys out to Jufre, Jufre out wide to, to oh, Joe Rundle and Joe Rundle go in. What a try then, Joe Rundle could have handed it on to Saltonstall for his fourth, but instead he said, I'll have my seventh try of the season. 
and the Panthers make it 20 points to 6 with a kick to come left about 5 minutes out from half time what a brilliant, brilliant result there oh, that was a great ball that, that was there for Joey and composure there just to finish it there was uh, a lot of composure there did really well brilliant ball out from Jufre and brilliant footwork there for Arundel and he was a bit of a walk in there so around about 5 minutes till half time 20 points to 6 with a kick to come um, it's exactly what Simon Griggs would have wanted isn't it yeah this is uh, just the response he wanted probably after that try of theirs and just, uh, just the boys just to show a bit of commitment there just deciding right we'll show you how many points we can put on her. I think uh, I think as long as we just keep in the same mindset here and don't get ahead of ourselves, um, I think we can uh, put a good job on here. Definitely. Hopefully, it's not a game of two halves in every sense of the word. Hopefully, we can keep this going in the second half. As Joe Keys lines up yet again on that right touch line. Hopefully, he'll manage to kick it this time. Want some tries on this left hand side? You won't be able to see some of these <laughs> tries. Sure, here. Yeah. Might be all right, second half. <laughs> as keys strikes it well the crowd tells again keys makes it 22 points to 6 and a fantastic first half here on a Sunday evening here at the Shea in front of the Premier Sports cameras is this performance a bit of a, a, a statement to the rest of the league yeah I, th I think most of the league will know now that we're a team in form. I know we had a bit of a slip up at London a few weeks ago, but I think over the last say 12 games, I think we've been one of the standout teams. Obviously, Lee's flying at the top of the league, but I think apart from that, I'd say we're the next best team at the minute in form, and I think we just have to prove it to ourselves really that we are good enough to do it. For sure, definitely, definitely at the Shea here, we want to make it a bit of a fortress, and we're certainly doing that tonight. As Fairbank carries on the good work that Salton Stall did on the first tackle as Kyle Wood scoops out of dummy half but met by two Bulldogs defenders Brandon Moore jumps back into dummy half and it's a set restart here as Scott Miskalks has, has, has called there as Worthington breaks a 40 metre line yeah. We just need to get into a bit of a cycle now uh, in fact they've got a few big bodies on the pitch and like said James, uh, James Brown and Mickey Ward there in the middle and just need to get him in a bit of a tumble dryer now and try and uh, zap their energy Sat the engine by going right and oh, Drew Frey right, finds right. Barber. That's a really good line from Ed Barber. As Carl Wood waits, options left and right, oh. goes and it's quick defence there from uh, Ben White. Carl Wood complains it was possibly too quick. Nothing given from the referee as Drew Frey finds Fairbank. Oh, right. And he's still a loose pass. Oh. Ooh, I'm not too sure there was any hands yeah, there. I'm sure about that. I thought it went for everyone's hands that then. As the referee gives a knock on. As Batley will take it to the middle for the play, the ball there. A loose ball there, but I didn't think there was any uh, Halifax hands on there, but the referee gives the scrum. Yeah, I think it meters out. Bit of an arse one that, but I think we just need to turn it around now, put a big defensive set in and get the ball back. Scott Miss didn't doesn't like with this scrum. Around about five minutes left. We're not too sure on the time because for some reason the um, the electronic timer that usually works isn't working for some reason. So we're having to do a bit of a guess here. Anyway, Batley find themselves 40 minutes from the line and Mikey Ward finds Fairbank. Held out there by Brandon Moore and Kyle Wood stopping the offload. Here's James Brown. Finds Kyle Wood. Does well, stops his momentum. Allows Barber Fairbank and then Kevin LaRoya to put him on his back. Just before halfway, here's Ben White. Ben White, dummies. Well met by Moore. Good it up top by Kavanaugh and finished off there by Ed Barber. Leak goes blind. Finds Meadows. Inside Hodgson. Finds Hooley centre field. Hooley scheming. But really good defence there. As White puts boot to ball up out from Walmsley, well taken yeah, there by some pressure. Well. Scrappy oh, play of the ball here. As Worthington finds Woodburn all. 
steps that first defender, but put down by Walshaw. Salt and stall. Finds 35, centre field. Kyle Wood waits. Goes left and finds Worthington. Worthington, good run on that ball there. Nearly finds a 40 metre line. Here's Leroy charging onto the ball. Still going, Leroy. Pass halfway. This is what we need to do. We just need to keep the process here and keep winning them rocks. And then Offer just getting back on the, uh, on the back foot there. It's a good D kick there from Jufre. Chase as well. It's a good chase inside by Moore and Fairbank. Another and yet again. Great chase. Yeah, again, Fairbank with a fantastic cover tackle. Hooley gets up gingerly. And Wiley comes inside. Met by Rundle and Barber. And at the moment, the Panthers are winning the territory battle. As Wood and Barber put down the battling man. Here's Hodgson. They're targeting Carl Wood in defence, but he's doing well. Is the hooker helped out by his mate there, Brandon Moore. As Leek goes from dummy half, finds, oh. finds Meadows, looks without passing. Finds Walshaw, gets up ahead of steam, but he's met well by the two little guys in Moore and Wood. Held out by Fairbank. It's the last tackle just past halfway. It's a good set here from the Panthers. As Gilmore dabs it through for Hooley. As they're coming together of bodies. Yeah, and they've given the penalty here. Mikhailskis has uh, judged that um, I think it was Kyle, Kyle Wood. Wood, yeah. Kyle Wood's taken out Hooley on the run. And the Bulldogs have a penalty 20 metres out of centre field. <laughs> right on the hooter now. What will... Batley do. Batley will go for goal. <laughs> now normally at 22-6 you wouldn't necessarily go for goal, but um, you got to take points when they're on offer. And you'd think that Gilmore would take this goal, um, kick this goal. And if he does, it would be 22-8 at the break, and a fantastic first half performance from the Panthers. Yeah, it's been a great first half. Um, a bit of a soft penalty there to give away near the end, but uh, I think that overall for the first half performance, I don't think we can argue there. I think um, we just need to keep that up again in the second half and just make sure we put in a professional performance and put 80 minutes in. Gilmore obliged with a penalty and a hard time here at the Shea Stadium. It's Halifax Panthers 22, Batley Bulldogs 6. Welcome back to the Shea Stadium for the second half of the Betfred Championship Round 22 clash. Halifax Panthers and Batley Bulldogs and find the score. Halifax 22, Batley 8 in a convincing first half performance for the Panthers. With me is Matty G. Matty, what do you reckon Simon Griggs has said in our time team talk? I reckon he'll just be telling all the boys just to, just to stick with what we're doing and obviously just, just try and cut down on any soft penalties or soft, soft little errors we've come up with a few times and just let back off the hook a bit. But I think if we just keep doing what we're doing and just keep to the structure that we're playing at, I think we can put, uh, just put these to the sword here. Amen to that. As Hula kicks off, taken by Jufre and Kevin Leroy. Starts off the Panthers second half. Takes two taken down in Manning and Mikey Ward as Barber takes it up. Taking looks to be taken high there. Bit of a grapple, crusher tackle there, but non, nothing given. Oh, that was definitely high there from Manning on Wood. I don't think there was any venom in it, but definitely an high tackle. He's disagreeing it with his, his X Fact second rower, but. Definitely an eye tackle there, and the, the Panthers will start to set off with a penalty on the 20 metre line. As Mikel Alkers wants to talk to Manning for some reason. Yeah, he's not happy there, is he? Yeah, I think it was just a bit of a lazy arm, really, there, weren't it? And mm. I don't think there's any swing or malice or anything yeah, like yeah, that. I think, he's, I think he's got his timing on there. So, Joe Keys with a bit of a conservative kick to touch. As Kevin Leroy finds Jufre, Jufre goes in. Leroy looks to have been taken late there. Takes three Bulldog players to take him down. As Wood finds Leroy again. Leroy takes two, two taking down with White and Ward. Leroy pushes him off. Wood finds Key centre field. Brings in Kevin on the inside. He's met by Brown and Walshaw. Gets into Batley territory as the drum beats the blues 
as Jufre dummies inside, got finds Barber on the short crash ball. Barber gets his arm free, finds Jufre again. Jufre gets to Leroy, Leroy to Keys, Keys steps outside of Meadows, but finds Walshaw with a crunching tackle. Good offload again there by Barber. Panthers fan sell 20 out. Wood goes. Woodburn also looking good here in background. No, I don't look good at all. As Moore finds Leroya. It's the last tackle here for, for Fax. As Wood goes left. Find Keys. Keys steps out inside there. Still going Keys. Still stepping. Still going Keys. Can he get the ball out? He can. But it's a good end to the set there for Halifax. Yeah, we'll take that there. Big D set now, just trying to keep them in their own territory here. I and mean, obviously trying to get straight back into good ball. Woodburn all definitely don't look good here on this near side. Looks like his hamstring maybe, I'm not too sure, but he's, he's hobbling on this near side. Yeah, he's not looking good here, would he? As the Bulldogs start their attack from deep. No. Three Panthers men taken sorry. down. Yeah, he's hopping now, would he? As James Brown takes it up. Makes some good yards there as Brown with Arroyo. As Worthington. And Fairbank taking down. As White finds Mikey Ward. And the uh, Bulldogs. Got a last minute sub onto the pitch there in El Morris. Mm. Yeah, Morris replacing the injured Woodburn all as Batley attack there. And the, the Batley man just runs into, into Arroyo. Now I'm not oh, too sure. So, I'm not too sure what Arroyo could have done there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how he's given that, but um. <laughs> That's mystifying to me. He's, he's given a, a tackle without the ball, but I think um, James Brown, uh, not, I think it was a wall shot, just ran straight into him. Yeah, I think we'll burn all come off the over. It looked like, well, it looked like a hamstring injury, to be fair. Mm. Bit of well, a hopefully, it's not a serious one. No. On his 100th Halifax appearance, that's the last thing we wanted. So, a bit of a shuffle there. Looks like. Sort and Stall's gone to full back. I'm not too sure what else. Oh, uh, forward there. And James Brown knocks on. Yeah, and he could be there, James Brown. You could say that's a bit of vindication from the uh, from the decision there. Given by the referee Scott Michalowskis. So Halifax will start with a scrum 15 metres out. So it looks like Barb has gone to centre, Rundle on the wing. And Saltonstall has gone to fullback. But that's a big loss for the Panthers. It's Woodburn all out there. As Worthington brings the Panthers past the 20 metre line, met by three. But, yeah, the Warriors at back row, it looks like. And here's Morris with his first touch of the game. Makes the 30 metre line, brought down by White. As Fairbank goes right to Jufre, hands off to Leroyer. Leroyer goes past the 40 metre line. Met by two Bulldogs defenders. And Jufre, oh, long past the Fairbank there, taken Bob. well. And he does well there in, in contact there, does Fairbank. Makes halfway. As Wood goes left to Keys, Keys. Hands off to Kavanagh. Oh, great. <laughs> Forces hit, Meadows Kavanagh off. Kav. But he's dropped the ball as Kavanagh oh, no. and the ball's gone loose. As oh. Walmsley rushes back. As a Batley player goes down in backfield, but. Walmsley makes a tried to counter attack. Please give it back to six there as well. Yeah. Mr. Oscar's wife's the tackle count and the Panthers will start their attack again as the crowd right raise. Raise the voices. Alifaz playing away from the South Stand with the South Stand making noise as Keys dummies tries to go through the gap, but well taken there by Meadows and Walshaw. As Wood waits at acting half. Hands off to Fairbank, Fairbank. Oh. And just, uh, d but to oh, uh, ben Kavanagh, it's, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh. Now, the referee has given a loose carry now. Well, to me, that looked like a definite strip. Yeah, that's, yeah. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know how he's <laughs> given that, to be honest. Unless he's given, no, he's given oh, it to Batley. Yeah. Yeah. Now, to me, it looked like uh, a definite one-on-one -on -one strip and the ball going forward, but... I think Mikhailovskis has given a, a loose give carry. A loose carry yeah. yeah. Bit harsh, but they can go either way, can't yeah, they? These it happens, days, it happens. Just have to have a good attitude now and just turn it around and put a good D set together. So it's about the scrum for 30 meters out from their own line. And it's Perry White. They'll they'll start this attack. Put down by Barber and Leroya. As James Brown again goes centre field, met by four Halifax defenders. 
down low by Fairback but helped out by Leroyer and Morris as Leek goes right and finds Mikey Ward looks to be taken high there for the Panthers nothing given I think we've dealt with him pretty good so far this game yeah. and he's been a bit of a threat for him this year as Ward so yeah. I think we just need to keep doing a number on him and um, hopefully that'll stop their go forward he's a good impact player off the, off the bench as Ward as Walshaw plays the ball less than 30 out Finds White, takes it to the line and finds Gilmore. Gilmore at the back to Hooley. Hooley goes through the gap, but well taken That's there. Great tackle. Great tackle there by the Panthers' defence. Oh, hey, Barber. And it's compounded oh, by the referee. By Barber, giving a, a set restart here. As Gilmore finds James Brown on a crash ball. I can put the ball down. No. Great defence there from the Panthers. That'll hold him up over the line. Yeah, I think we just need to cut these soft penalties out now and just try and get control back of the game. As Battler start, 10 metres out. Mikey Ward taken well by Brandon Moore, helped out there by Kyle Wood. Slowing the play, the ball down well as Leak finds Gilmore. Gilmore goes wide to Meadows. Meadows goes short of Keyes, oh. knocks it on. As Battler knocks it on there. Yeah. I think there's two knock ons there. I think Keyes got his hand to the ball. I feel like. I feel like we might have this one. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, well, to first view, and I think Key's definitely got his hand to that ball, but we'll take that. We'll take that. Yeah, there's <laughs> been a few of them going the other way this game, so, yeah. so it's nice for one to come out of Yeah, Key certainly got his hand to that, but you could see that um, Batley um, with that one on one strip, give a loose carry, should have been our ball. It's uh, swings and roundabouts, but. <laughs> The Panthers will start their attack with Greg Worthington, 15 metres out from the line. Wood goes left to Saltonstall, operating at full back for the injured James Wood Bernal. Takes two battle defenders struggling to kick him down, that's really good yards after contact there from Salty. The East Stand calling for a penalty, nothing given as Joe Rundle drives it forward, taken by Walshaw and Meadows. Scrappy play the balls and Kyle Wood spots oh, nice a there. He's still oh. with Kyle Wood. Nearly. Last dish tackle there. By his shirt there, he? Definitely last dish tackle there from Walshaw. Keys go centre field to Fairbank. Cries of high tackle from the fax players. Nothing given as Wood goes blind to Keys. Keys puts boot to ball up high with Walmsley chasing. Hooley takes it this time, yeah, but it's well marshal. Well tackle there by Walmsley. And Perry Whiteley will start the Bulldogs. Is that there? Yeah, can do the big D set here now and just keep uh, trying to trap them in their own half here. Oh. And uh, <laughs> commentator's case there, mate. My bad, that. <laughs> we'll blame Mike for that one. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's the same again. It's, it, it's just a few soft penalties that are getting them out their own half and it's just putting us under a bit of pressure here. But I think the boys have got enough in them now just to get past a bit of diversity and uh, hopefully just come through the other end. We certainly hope so, as Johnny Campbell starts the Bulldogs attack. Stroll taken down by Barber and Leroy. There's a lot of messing around going at these play the balls, and Michalowskis is letting a lot go at the moment, as Manning takes in a, a rather hefty handoff there yeah. on Brandon Moore, ex-teammates. No love lost there, as Ben White takes it to the line. Tackle well by Morris up top and Kyle Wood downstairs. As Leek waits a dummy half, hands off to Brown. Brown steps, but Fairbank holds on, but he gives it out to White. White finds Meadows. Meadows drifts out to Hooley. Hooley scheming the line, but he's met by Barber and Leroyer. Marshalled him well so far this game. Yeah, I felt like we've done a good job on Hooley so far. As Gilmore, long pass out to Meadows. Meadows dribbles it through to Ingo. Oh, lovely Keys Great oh, Keys good Keys. He's got men there. Oh, Keys, Keys is it. still going. Oh, that's brilliant. brilliant. Fantastic return there from Joe Keys, making a 40 metre line, could have given it to Walmsley but did well to hold on and the Panthers start the attack and the East Stand really getting on the referees back here as Elliot Morris oh, hands, hands off to Jufre, Jufre to his pal Walmsley, Walmsley in centre field goes through there, yeah, back to one, back to back to one. one. as Jufre with broken field ahead of him, tackle well by Lee. Yeah, this is more like it, this is the way we like to play, nice and fast. Picking up the pace here, the Panthers as Moore hands it off oh, to Morris. Nice run, Elliot yeah. Morris does well. Gets past the 30 metre line in the back of the Bulldogs. Kyle Wood, where's that to now? Goes left to Keys. Keys 
brings Kavanagh on the inside. Just after 20 metres out, Kyle Wood oh, hands it off to Fairbank. Fairbank oh, hits and off. spins. Offloads to Wood. Wood to Saltonstall. Can he get his fourth? Oh. And he passes it to Jufre, yeah. but the battling man just gets in, just in front of him. Just one pass too many, I think, that though. Getting a little bit giddy there in a attack there, the Panthers, but not a bad place to turn it over. Still 22 points to eight. Yeah, I, th I think it just shows the confidence to play him with at the minute. Um, just willing, willing to offload and willing to play off, off the cuff. And I think Grixie likes that to an extent. So hopefully we can just keep it um, under control now and try and uh, get back on top of the game. As Manning takes the ball up, met by three defenders with Moore and Arundel keeping him down. Leak finds Gilmore behind the 40 but well well positioned there by James Sortenstall he'll take it up and find oh, halfway turn by Salty there. that's a really good defensive set from the Panthers and we start the start our attacking set past halfway uh, the South stand band the drum sensing another score here for the Panthers as Kyle Wood waits out in half and got some more more Morris with the footwork nice L. 25 metres out in the middle of the pitch Wood dummies left and goes right finds Jufre Jufre at the back to Saltonstall Saltonstall well rattled there by Keeman Buchanan less than 20 out Wood finds Jufre Jufre dummies to Fairbank and Morris finds Keys out wide oh, Keys well, kicks no, the ball coming to chase him and Hooley yeah. sorry Perry Wiley bats it back that was a great kick out by Keys though fantastic play from the Panthers and it's a repeat set and the Panthers win the territory battle so far in the second half I we could do a bit more of that in the last few games as well just to build a bit of pressure and just, just to zap a bit of energy away from the other team in games of season this is where Keyes is coming to his own really when we're, when we're ahead and we're winning the territory battle he, he puts on really good kicks and uh, yeah, keeps the pressure on he's been exceptional this year and uh, I think, I think uh, there's still more to come from him as Elliot Morris takes the ball up from the dropout. Two men struggle to put him down, still can't put him down. Three there, still on his feet, Elliot Morris. As Wood hands off to Fairbank. Fairbank, dummies left and goes himself. Oh, great. Taking really good yards after contact. <laughs> Finds his front, 10 yards out. And Miklauskas, the referee, gives a repeat set as Jufre goes right to oh, Saulstall. Oh, and James Saulstall <laughs> gets his four. And that is awesome from great the Panthers. Try. James Saltonstall with his fourth try of the evening to bring the score out to 26 points to eight with a kick to come. And yeah. that could be a crucial score, that. Yeah, I think that come off uh, Bob's run there, Bob Fairbank's run. Um, just to run with that intent, and, um, just to get win the rock there, make it a quick one for the... Just allowed allow that play to like, evolve the way it should have. Um, yeah, it's probably all them lasagna bottles you've been eating at home. Giving away secrets of the trade there, folks. <laughs> Gonna be a four try life that's hero, get some lasagna butties down you. Lasagna and a bit of buttered bread, that's what he has. <laughs> and yet again, it's another try on this battle left edge on the Halifax right edge. And Louis Jufre has been causing all sorts of problems on the right. We mentioned before Joe Key's been getting the headlines for the way he's been playing, but Louis Jufre has been a perfect partner for him, hasn't he? Oh yeah, since, since Louis has gone into the team he's been he's been he's been exceptional. Um, him and Keys have got a good combination going at the minute and I think it shows the way how they just kind of know what each other's doing now, um, especially over the last the last few weeks. You can see them getting a bit more comfortable with each other and just little, little like link ups out there and little plays. And Salty's not your traditional fullback, and just to get him to hit that line perfect there in between, it just uh, just shows how good organising they are. I must admit, whenever I've seen Salty go to fullback, I think he's played really really well there, and it's a good. It's a good asset for Simon Griggs to have when when Woodburn all gets injured in a game. It can slot in a full back there as Keyes knocks the conversion over, bringing the score out to Halifax Panthers 28, Batley 8. With around about 13 minutes of the second half gone, that could be a game winning score, that, but we'll see there. But Halifax well on top here so far. as Hooley looks to kick off and Batley look to uh, to strike back here Jufre takes it well hands off to Morris who's done well since he's come on 
plays it on the 20. Goes blind to Leroy. Oh, Leroy great carry there by Kev. Brushes Buchanan off, but yeah. Uh, Campbell off, sorry. But does well to hang on as Barber takes it inside. Really good run there after contact there from oh, Barber and hands it off to Wood. Great offload as Wood. Goes to the battle line, goes past halfway. As Moore hands off to Keys. Keys brings in Cavan on the angle yet again. Another strong run there by Cav. On to the 30, Wood. On to Fairbank. Fairbank into Brandon Moore. Jufre to Salt and Stall. Salt and Stall oh, it, and it. finds Arundel. Arundel goes out wide. He's still going. Great cover tackle there by Gilmore and Hooley. As Salt and Stall at dummy half finds Jufre a long looping pass. Kicks through. Oh. Lots of ricochet oh. there. The ball bobbling all over the place. The linesman's going to call something here. And the referee, I think he's getting a signal for the touch judge. It's a battling knock on here. No, if he's giving it against us, I think. Oh, yeah. he hasn't. What do I know? <laughs> <laughs> what do I know? But again, a great place for the Panthers to turn it over and a great re um, response for that kickoff. Yeah, it's been good so far this half. There we go. It's another great, great bit of line speed there by the boys just to get up and put a shot on. Is this, is, is this where your yeah, defence can be a source of attack, really, to, to, to get the ball back? Yeah. yeah, especially in their half. As soon as they're on their line, you know, if you put a good um, good defensive setting, you're getting the ball back in a good um, good position. Unfortunately, we've just given another soft penalty away, but... That was my fault, that. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's one all in the case. Time, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, usually in yardage, you want to put a good uh, defensive setting, hopefully keep them near their line and hopefully get the ball back in a good position. So as it is, the Bulldogs will start just past the 40 metre line. Three Panthers defenders taking Gledhill down as Lee hands it on to Riley. Met by three, but still going. Yeah, I think we just need to get back in control of the rook here. It's just getting a little bit quick. Here's Meadows, Meadows yeah, onto Gledhill. Great shot there by Ben Kavanagh, helped out by Morris with Wood helping out downstairs as Leek goes right with White and Meadows short up Walshaw well wrapped up there by Keys, and then yeah it's not Moran. a good thing Walshaw isn't it oh, ah, it's, a, to one, oh. it's a soft penalty to give away that it's a set restart as Meadows skins the line goes to five yards out right underneath those posts back the shaping up left here White onto Gilmore Gilmore out wide to Buchanan and onto Campbell and Campbell finishes on the left hand side there Looks to be a bit of a ball putting that ball down, but back the strike back here. Yeah, I think, I think that's just come off a couple of bad um, soft penalties there by us. I think we've, we've punished ourselves there. Um, don't get me wrong, was it? it was a great bit of skill there by Batley to, to get the try off, but I think, we, I think we've killed ourselves there. Yeah, I think it was, was it Salt and Stall there who just shot the line a little bit too, too quickly there, give it, allowing that space for, for Campbell to get over. But Batley, as I say, it's a third v fourth clash here at the Shea. They're not a bad side, Batley, obviously, yeah, and they're striking back. I think Keezy's getting strapped up on the pitch now. Hopefully that's nothing serious. That's definitely the last thing that we need. As Adam Tangata and Dan Murray look to come on to the pitch. So just before the hour mark here at the Shea, it's Halifax 28, Batley 12 with a kick to come. As Gilmore will shape up on this touchline but can't kick yet because Joe Keyes is getting some treatment there looks like he's getting his ankle strapped up as Tangata and Murray come onto the field and I, th and I think it's Fairbank and Wood who are coming off as Gilmore tries the ball and he drifts to the left of the post so it remains just at the hour mark, Halifax Panthers 28, Batley 12. And just to confirm that, Adam Tangata and Dan Murray have come onto the pitch to replace Jacob Fairbank and Kyle Wood. Two really good stints there. Fairbank especially, got through a ton of work. So is that just going to be a bit of a consolation for Batley or... Will they fight back? Can the Panthers keep them out? Keys back on his feet and takes a kick off. 
and Batley will start off. Their set just be just below the 20 meter line. As White takes on the line, finds three Panthers defenders, Leroya and Murray, Morris, sorry, and Moore, Moore goes back to the line. Gilmore hands off to Riley. Riley met by Barber, helped out by Jufre, just by the 40 meter line. As Leek goes from dummy half, throws himself, but he's met by Moore and Leroya. Leroya drags him down onto, onto the turf. As Gilmore and onto White, takes to the line. Well marshaled in defence by Morris and Murray. Last tackle, and Meadows puts it high. Who's claiming this? It's Salton Stall there. Well, Hooley gets to it and looks like he's knocked on. And he on has. There, I think, yeah. Scott Miklauskas gets the, gives a knock on. And the Panthers will start the set 10 metres out from their own line. As Wormsley. Wormsley, good run there. Coming in centre field to help out the forwards. More hands it on to Arundel. Arundel met by Manning, put down well by the X Fax man. 25 metres out. Jufre finds Murray. Murray out of the back to Saltonstall. Saltonstall goes out left, but well tackled there by Walshaw and Meadows. Worthington goes past the 40. Good yards after contact there from Greg Worthington. Looking for career try, number 100. Ward uh, Moore picks up one handed. Tangata puts it to the line to Murray. And it looks to be a late shot there from Manning. Last tackle here for the Panthers. Keys puts boot to ball towards that left hand corner. Well taken by Whiteley, but he's good pressure there by Ben Kavanagh and Lachlan Wormsley. As Batley start their attack from deep. Well tackled there by Murray and Moore. Batley players wanting a penalty, nothing given. As Johnny Campbell comes in from the wing, offloads out to Gilmore, and it's a brilliant tackle there by Ed Barber. Fantastic, really important tackle there from the second rower. As Campbell takes it up again, but well wrapped up by Jufre. Held out by Leroy and finished off by Tangata. Less than 30 out of the Bulldogs. Manning takes it up, met by four Panthers men. Brings up to the 40 metre line. Good defensive set here from the Panthers so far. Leak hands off to Hooley. Hooley puts a spiral bomb up, but it's well taken at the back by Saltonstall. He's had a fantastic in so far. Hands it off to Wormsley. Wormsley met hard there by Meadows. Just before the 30 metre line as Saltonstall. Hands on to Worthington. Worthington met by Bartley. Three Bartley defenders. The East stand calling for offside against the battle of defence and yet again lots going on at the rook that the referees just not picking up on as Tangata takes it past halfway met by three Bulldogs defenders with Leek taking the legs as more fans off short to Murray Murray good run there good angle four, four tackles gone Brandon Moore hands off to Keys Keys to Jufre Jufre out wide to Worthington Worthington goes through Looking for under three, a try. That was a great ball there, by the way. As Keys, dummy shot, does his body and goes, kicks the ball dead. Oh, and he goes dead. It's a seven just, tackle yeah, set. Just too hard there, weren't it? It was, a, it was the right idea, just a bit of a lead boot there. <laughs> Those sort of things do happen, as I say. He's, he's got his foot strapped up a, a bit there. Might, might have had something to do with it, but the Bulldogs with Walshaw the three men struggling to put him down they stop his momentum lots of messing around this play the ball again but the referee nothing given and we'll take that as Hooley looks to break well tackled there by Worthington Meadows hands off to Gledhill Gledhill looks to run at Moore and Keys, but they put him down well the Bulldogs into the Panthers 20 metre zone as Leek goes from dummy half well tackled by Keyes, but he managed to get the offload out. Here's White, White to Meadows, Meadows to Gilmore. Gilmore dummies, bounces off the Royer, onto Murray. There's an offload oh, there to Riley, and Riley. Great cover tackle the there, line. boys. 
and they hold him up. Desperate defence there from the Panthers. And a battle try will make things very, very interesting. About a quarter of an hour to go here with Batley attacking the Panthers line. White hands it off to Walshaw, put down by three. Last tackle here. Can fax all Batley out here. Goes for Meadows, Meadows. Short ball to Riley. Tackled by the Royal with well tickle there. And he rolled over. Oh, great deal there. Great deal there by the boys. Fantastic core defence there from the Panthers. Really, really important because the Batley try there can make things very interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of scramble there by the boys. I think, I think Riley's caused a bit of problems today. He's, uh, he's carried very well for him, so to make sure we put a job in on there is a good effort. So the Panthers will play the ball less than five out. Good footwork there from Arundel. And he's out there by the Batley and he's given a set restart on a, on a zero tackle. It matters it's not much. Great carry there by Salter. Yet it's again. I don't think there'll be much uh, discussion in the man of the match uh, with his performance tonight, to be honest, James Thornton still. As Warnsley takes it up past the 40. Put down by two. This rook's very, very slow at the moment. As Moore finds Tangata, finds halfway. Moore picks up one handed onto Jufre. Jufre spots that Batley shot up on, the, on that left hand side. So takes the ball himself. Leaves Marcus behind as Brandon Moore takes the ball up himself, finds Morris. Met by two Bulldogs defenders on the last tackle. Moore goes left to Keys. Keys puts the ball up to the to Hooley. Hooley takes. Well put down there. By Lack on Warnsley. And it's a great result, that 95 metre set from the Panthers. Hopefully they'll trap the Bulldogs in their own own 20 here. As Meadows finds Campbell off his wing. Three Panthers defenders put him down. Leroya, Murray and Morris. Here's Hodgson. Goes past the four and loses the ball there. Yes, great neither. Great defence there from the Panthers. And can they put this game to bed now? Can they get the score that will really get yeah, this I, game sorted? I think one more try there will put the nail in the coffin really. Round about quarter of an hour to go here at the Shea. And still Halifax 28, Batley 12. 16 point margin. A try, you'll definitely put it to bed. <laughs> Says Halifax scrum. Finds Jufre to Barber. Barber still going. Still going, Ned Barber. Lifted in there. Did that go past horizontal or not? As Kevin Leroy comes off the pitch and Will Calco comes on for his second stint. Uh, the South Stand bangs the drum with the Blues chant as Keys goes left. Goes to the cabinet. Cabinet tries to brush off Meadows. But he's out out there by Hodgson. Less than 20 out of the Panthers. Keys across the pitch. Goes to Jufre. Jufre. Well tackled there by Dane yeah, Manning. Shot of the line well. But it's a quick play of the ball. And Moore. Passes back to Saltzdor. Didn't get an hand to it. So Barber takes the ball. Not put down there. <laughs> Referee definitely called out. Yeah. And it's a penalty to the Panthers. Now, do they go for two here, Matty, or do they carry on? I reckon just, just keep applying the pressure. It's a bit, bit, bit out wide, isn't it? So I think it could be a bit of a tricky kick. So I reckon we'll just build a bit of pressure here now and hopefully try and get a few more points on the board. Yeah, and that's exactly what they do, Joe Rundle, running with purpose. That's yeah, a great carry out by Joe. <laughs> great metres after contact there. Less than 10 out. Brandon Moore waits. Straight out to Keys. Keys finds Calcott on the angle. Can he get his first try of the season? 10 metres out, centre field. Moore shakes left and goes right, finds Dan Murray. Dan Murray goes past Glenn. It'll look to be a high shot there. Nothing given, but still going. Nearly getting to double digits for the season. Dan Murray into the tries. Moore gets Calcott short. And oh. Will Calcott! Will Calcott gets his first try of the season. That's a great carry there by Kelly. Fantastic response there. And it, no more than what he deserves after a great oh, performance so yeah, far. Especially after that first in, the work rate he's been putting in. He does it every week, Cali. And uh, he, he's picked a line there and he's just ran as hard as he could and just basically said, stop me. And most importantly of all, he's off the nudist, so. <laughs> but yeah. Thank God for that. I don't see him on the top off. 
But even more important than that, it's possibly the game winning score here. And with the kick to come, which you would think Joe Keys would get at the moment, it's Halifax 32, Batley 12. as Joe Keys lines up the shot of goal you would think he'd get this yeah you'd think so I think that just come off a lot of good carries there I think Joe Rundle started to set off pretty well there a good strong carry and then Callie just hit that line perfect there and as you say after that first stint he definitely deserves that try oh definitely I think it's been coming for a few weeks now for Callie he's, uh, he's put effort after effort in every week and it's, it's, it's nice to see him finally got over for one as Keyes kicks the conversion and it looks to be his last action of the game, Joe Keyes. He's nice done, it looks. And uh, Halifax 34, Batley 12, with around 10 minutes to go. He's, he's nice done and say he's not worth risking. Hopefully it's precautionary. But another great performance there from Joe Keyes. Yeah, I think it's just a precaution. There's no point risking him now. And he gets a really good ovation from the East Stand there. And it's Kyle Wood that comes onto the field. And a tricky kickoff taken by Ed Barber. Hands off to Elliot Morris, who'll start the Panthers' attack. That was nerve wracking. <laughs> Hands off to Dan Murray. Finds three Bulldogs defenders. I think the pack's really stood up today. I mean, that was a big emphasis this week of trying to make sure we win that middle, middle rock because we, we've had a few weeks where it's been a bit 50 50. So I think I think it's been wood in the middle today. And Batley have got a really big pack and they, yeah, they, they use it well. By Cav. It's carried well on that left hand side as Kavanagh gets past halfway. As Moore hands off to Kyle Wood. Kyle Wood hands off to the try scorer, Will Calcop. Takes three Bulldogs men second down. 35 metres out, last tackle. Here's Jufre. Jufre kicks it high. Good chase here from the Panthers. Ooh. And he goes back for him, Barber. Nearly there by Ed. Taken by Gilmore. Yeah, he nearly got that though. And it's another good territory set there from, from Halifax. And the Bulldogs will start less than 20 metres out. And it's Kieran Buchanan who takes that ball up. Met well by Tangata and Morris. And again, Morris tackles well. Downstairs from Tangata. And I'll finish off there by Dan Murray. And Hooley, chip, chip and go over the defence. Loves oh. the kick it and roll. Salt and stall. Salter. Really brave play there by well Salter. Salter there. As Warmsley hands on to Kyle Wood. Taken quite high there by Warmsley. Nothing given. As Lachlan Warmsley takes the ball inside. Looks to be a bit of a grapple tackle there. I'm not too sure, is it a penalty? No, he's just resetting the tackle there. As Bro hands it on to Worthington. Oh, it's a good attendance as well today. It's a good Sunday evening attendance there. And the, uh, the sponsors of the match is Louis Jufre. He's had a very good game, but personally, I think James Saltonstall has had a fantastic game. As Jufre plus boot to ball, well taken there by Hooley, but well, well tackled there by Rundle. As Hooley plays the ball, finds Campbell, good shot there from Moore. And it's good defence there from the Panthers trying to push him back. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's what I mean. It's, it's defence like that that can, uh, it can, it, it can, it can uh, ruin your confidence for, as a team in a tackler if, if, if the defence is constantly up in your face. Especially in your own half, you feel trapped. So hopefully we can um, get a good D-set here, trap them in their own half and get the ball back in their, in their half. Round five minutes to go. I think it's, it's definitely going to be a victory for the Panthers here. But it'll be good to be an even bigger victory but it's good play there from Batley nice hands but the ball's got spilled from Hooley goes backwards and he finds Johnny Campbell well rattled for Jufre yeah, and Campbell there. Yeah, he can't be doing that 
He's throwing punches here as you three. And it's on. It's on. Bring back the diff. As you three is definitely down there. And Johnny Campbell, not too sure what he was doing. Yeah, I think he's had a brain explosion there, Campbell. He's just started throwing punches for no reason. Basically. I think he started off as a handoff and then he definitely turned into punches and the touch judge raced on. Yeah, definitely punches thrown. Touch judge on, but I'd say Jufre stayed down. I don't know if Manning's giving one either. No, I'm not too sure what's going to happen here. The officials in deep discussion. Yeah, I can't see if they're not pitchy, I'll be honest. You want to thought he's, de he's definitely throwing punches there, and if you throw punches, you tend to go off. With someone stood next to me who's been currently banned for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the way everything's going this year, they'll probably send Louis off to put his face yeah. in the way. <laughs> And they're waiting until they know if Jufre is going to be okay. I think he is, but receiving treatment from the physio. Yeah, thumbs up there by the physio. So. And he brings Campbell over. He's reaching to the pocket and he's yeah. red. And less than five minutes to go. Back later down to 12. As Johnny Campbell is sent off for multiple punches to the head for Campbell. And it's the East Stand who give him a fond farewell. And nothing else given there. And for once, it's the other side they get a man sent off. <laughs> so less than five minutes to go here. 13 against 12. Oh, Can doctor, we get doctors on here looking at Lewis first? We'll have to go off for a head injury assessment. Yeah, yeah so we'll do. Two minutes to go, I don't think it'll make much difference. Yeah, I think it's more precautionary rather than anything just yeah. to be safe. And a, a great performance from Louis Jufre getting a, a rousing reception from the East Stand. As Jacob Fairback comes on to replace him for the next couple of minutes. Now, can Halifax finish this game off in style with a try? Currently 34 12. Can we add more points on as Moore finds Calcott centre field? On to Wood. Wood, dummies. But finds Gledhill. I'm not too sure who the halfback's going to be now. Ed Barber will fill in here. Ed Barber plays. Yeah, he's a bit of a plays where he wants. Head, he? Yeah. <laughs> he can do everything. Here's Kavanagh again. Yeah, I think Ed's filling in for the time being. There's only a couple of minutes left, so I don't think it'll make a massive difference. But the word to Barber. Barber steps oh. out the challenge with Manning. Still going, Ed Barber. Still going. Managed to get tackled there by Gledhill and Ben White over there. There's more acting half. Finds Wood, Wood, short ball, bit of an hospital ball there to Murray, Ooh. Murray still get the ball out to Calcott. Met by three defenders, less than 20 out. And Moore picks up one-handed, goes from dummy half. Uh, Scragged to the ground by Manning. And it's Kyle Wood, wet starts in half. Goes himself, Kyle Wood, still going. Has he got over? No. No, just short, I think. And was that on the last? Yeah, it was. I think that's all we needed there, is to yeah. build a bit of pressure. Just to keep him trapped on their line. Not worse than coming, coming out now, just from a metre off your line. Not a bad way to, to end the set in these sort of circumstances, but the battler wanted to finish the game off on a high. As Perry Whiteley takes it up, met by Tangata, Fairbank and Murray. On the 30 metre line. As Leek hands it on to Gledhill. Managed to get the ball out there, just glad he'll onto Leek, but well put down there by Morris. As Gilmore. Yeah, if he's gone for 40 20 there, hasn't he? He's got. Look, he's seen yeah, it looks like it. Might hold up here. He's getting there, Salt and Stall yeah, getting there. Oh! Now, I think time's near the foot, and that's the first error that James Salt and Stall's made all game. I think the bounce got in there, I think it just slightly bounced backwards just as if we went to catch it. Big D set here now from the boys to make sure there's no, no soft tries just to finish the game. Yeah, points difference could be all important at the end of the season. But it's just an offensive pride that you want. The battle have scored two tries, don't they? Um, concede a third. Yeah, I think it's last minute of the game now. As Leek takes from the back of the scrum, shakes off Wood. But well put down there by Morris and Tangata. As Gilmore, it's a dummy half. Does it short to Walshaw? 
and it's good defence there from the Panthers. It's a big unit as well, Shaw. Yeah, looks like they're going to come out to the left here. No, they go right. Oh, oh yeah. great pressure there by Kavanagh. That was a great take. Oh, he's giving offside. It was too, too eager pressure there from Kavanagh. Yeah, I think he's giving him a good whack as well. So, Batley, start the set, less than five out. As Flynn tries to get over the line, but he's stopped by Panthers defenders. And it's a scrappy play of the ball, oh, and it's yet another. again, it's another penalty. Now, I don't need to give these. They don't, they don't need to be doing this to the... Yeah, the we we just need to see the game out here now. Just, 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 just the packet. Oh, he's sending someone, oh, he's sending someone to the bin. Sorry, oh, he's sending Solentstall to the bin. Yeah. And he gets, it's a soft way to finish the game, that. It won't be an Halifax game if we didn't have some part with, uh, <laughs> with 12 men on the pitch. Yeah, exactly. As Batley go over the line, but the Panthers defence hold him up. And Jay Sortenstall, yeah, he's been sending four try hero tonight. Getting the ovation he deserves here from the East Standards. Batley go oh. right, and Hooley, has he managed to get over? Oh, he has. Got over. It's a last minute score from Hooley. And that's not what we wanted. It's not going to change the result of the game, but it's still not a nice way to finish the game. Yeah, I, I think it's a bit of a consolation try. Yeah, the hoot has just gone. Uh, well, I think, I think, again, I think that has come down to a few penalties there. We just let him in. I don't think, I don't think the lads seem but I think they're just happy that they've got the win. Definitely, they're right over there by that scoreboard. And the most important thing is a win. It's a fantastic win from the Panthers, which sends them third. Uh, say, we top third and fourth clash here and uh, hopefully Halifax will stay third behind uh, Lee and Featherston and how important is this win in the, in the context of the season? Yeah, it's massive. We knew we wanted that third spot. Obviously, uh, we're trying to chase down Featherston. Um, obviously, they're, they're in prime position at the minute behind Lee and we, we feel like we, we, we might have what it takes to catch them but obviously a lot of results have to go our way for that to happen but um, a big one was just to get past Batley here and try and make, make sure we get that first spot locked in. As Tom Gilmore kicks the goal, it's gone there to try. And as the Hooter goes, final score here at the Shea. A James Sortenstall inspired four try performance. Alifast Panthers 34, Batley Bulldogs 16, and the Fax are up to third. And it's a great win throughout the Premier Sports cameras here on Sunday evening. Matty G, thank you very much for joining me this evening. No, thanks for having me. I've enjoyed it. And to everyone, goodbye.